What's up? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Soul Touch Pro here. King and I Like Podcast. I'm doing a solo drop right quick. Just a little quick solo thing right quick. I know my man, son, Soul X is out doing his thing, working or whatever the case may be. But I wanted to come on here because I wanted to keep the same goddamn energy. The results are in and your boy won. I know that is not the outcome that many of us wanted. But that's the outcome that it is. The one thing that I want to point out, though, the one thing I want to point out is that you notice how it's a peaceful day. Nobody's saying go down to the Capitol and do this, do that. Uh, there's no violence that I've heard of so far. Is it because Trump supporters got their way? Is that why there's no violence? Is that why nobody's losing their damn mind and, you know, social media is kind of calm? <clears throat> do y'all do y'all get that? Do y'all understand that? That means us mature, uh, adult, and civilized people did not go out there or not out there raising hell because Kamala Harris did not win the presidency. Y'all should take a note of that because y'all were so quick to say, oh, it's rigged, it's rigged, it's rigged. Oh, the election is rigged. Y'all y'all been saying that ever since this dude been running. Why? Because that's what he been saying. You don't hear us saying that. We're saying the results are what they are, and that's what we got to deal with. How how hard is that? How How hard is it to act like a mature adult when things don't go your way, that's what I'm trying to understand. I don't understand why you don't why y'all don't get that. It's too simple. It's too easy. But you know, for those of you out there that did not vote, um, I would never understand completely why you don't vote. I understand on the surface, you know, you may feel like your vote don't count. You may feel like um, nothing's going to change. You may feel like uh, the candidates are the lesser of two evils, which I don't understand. Um, there's a million things that you may feel, but my response to that is, if you don't like who is running, then how about you vote for somebody that, that best represents you? And and if that person doesn't get in, how about you to you look to a person who best represents your views or, or or whatever the case may be? But if you do nothing, you get nothing. Show me what relationship where you're in it and you put forth no effort and you get something out of. Show me that relationship, whether it's uh personal, business, or whatever the case may be. Show me that relationship, please. Please show me that relationship. I need to see that. Um, because if so, I need to, I need to hop on board with one of them. I just do. Um, the other thing, I don't want to sound too, too out, out of, out of whack, but you see how all his hardcore supporters or even just his supporters, period, they showed up and showed out, showed up and showed out. My question for those who look like me and recognize me in our history, why can't y'all do the same? Why can't y'all do the same? It's, why, why is it so hard for, 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 for us to band together and make a stance and, and, and show out like that? I can respect them for that. If nothing else, if nothing else, I can respect them for showing up and showing out and supporting their guy, good, bad, or indifferent. Notice how, how, I, how I said good, bad, or indifferent. There's a lot of people out there that voted for him but did not like his presentation of what he was doing out there, but they still showed up for that dude. They still showed up for him. Another thing that, that blows my mind is there's a lot of our people out there who said she didn't explain her policies or, or this, that, and the other. And my push to that is, why are you holding her to a standard that he was not being held to? What did he explain out there? He did not explain anything. He said what he was going to do. He didn't say how he was going to do it. 
Y'all expected Kamala Harris to break down letter by letter what she was going to do and how she was going to do it. What kind of nonsense is that? That's some BS if you ask me. Bullshit. Straight bullshit. Um, on top of that, when it comes to healthcare, this joker said he had concepts of a plan. My God, you were president already from 2016 to 2020. And all you have right now is a concept of a plan. But y'all expect Kamala Harris to break down her plan for health care. Which she did. You may not have liked it, but at least she gave you something of substance. Now, another thing that y'all got to look at, this joker was talking about, well, J.D. Vance was talking about, when it comes to housing, they want to use federal lands. That means national parks and state parks and stuff like that. Why is that okay? I I'll wait. Somebody tell me why that's okay. But enough about that. Um, the one thing that just blows my mind the most is RFK to be in charge of public services. What does that mean, people? What does that mean? Man, that means uh, he's going to be in charge of HHS. Um, CDC, NIH, USDA, FDA, um, I don't understand, um, I, I don't understand why y'all cool with that. I, I really don't understand. Let me look, let me look some stuff up right quick. Um, yeah, let me let me let me look some up something up right quick uh on this. And 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 Trump said he could do what he want. He can go wild on health care. That means women's health. Y'all good with that? Like, really, are y'all good with that? Um I'm not good with that. So so when y'all talk about these policies, this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 y'all good with that. Are y'all really good with that? Um, so yeah, he's he's supposed to be in charge of public health, which includes the CDC, the FDA, NIH, and USDA. That's a lot. That's a lot. And I know a lot of us out there, you know, across the board, complain about how things are now. Imagine what it's going to be like with RFK Jr. in charge. Mm. And y'all are okay with that. I, I don't I don't understand why y'all okay with that. Um and, and as far as I know, he has no no background in health, in public health. Like, like help me understand. The dude is already talking about taking fluoride out of out of water. Half y'all can't take care of your damn mouth with the fluoride in the water. Um, damn. Um, you know, a lot of us been taking vaccines for the longest. Uh, we, we all know vaccines help. Um, you may not agree with them, but, uh, you know, a lot of people in my age group and older and, and, you know, maybe 10, 15, maybe 20 years younger, we grew up on vaccines. I'm good. Most of us are good. Um. The other thing that that um that blew my mind is you know the whole abortion thing. Um, I'm not a woman. I'm not a doctor, so I, I really don't have the uh, the credentials to really speak on it. But however, this is why I have a lot of female friends because you know they can tell me personally what they experience with with their health and and you know. And as women go through a lot more than a lot of men out there comprehend, especially men who don't take the time to invest in knowing about women, especially if you're laying up with women, women and you don't care what they go through, 
it's mind boggling that y'all okay with a man deciding what a woman does with her body. That that right there is mind blowing to me. It's crazy mind blowing to me because I do not feel that um I, I feel that women should should be able to do whatever they want with their body. But to further talk about abortion just a little bit, because I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. Um, this whole abortion thing that's out there, y'all need to get it out of your head that it's just about aborting babies, you know, it, um, unwanted pregnancies, I'll say. It, it's not just about that, you know. There are health reasons why women need abortions, and people will jump up and down and get in their feelings and this, that, and the other. Oh, I'm anti-abortion, this, that, and the other. But the only thing that they talk about, from what I hear from the people that I talk directly to, and directly read what they post on social media because we're Facebook or social media friends. They always talk about the act of aborting an unwanted pregnancy and the time limit on that. Let's not talk. Let's not focus on that because they make that a big talking point, and that's not what it's only about. Women sometimes need an abortion to preserve their lives. Focus on that part of it. Look at that part of it. Several women have died since the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Let's look at the reasons why. It's not because they wanted to get an abortion from an unwanted pregnancy. I'm not saying there's zero out there that, that that's happened to, but a lot of those women had complications where they needed life-saving care and they could not get that care. Why do you not care about that? Help me understand. Um, other thing I want to talk about is the economy. <sighs> Y'all are quick to point the finger at a single president, whether the economy is good or whether the economy is bad. We can all agree on one solid thing that rings true. It's the economy under a specific president and administration. We can agree on that, right? That's just basic um, civics. Um, but you have to understand those things, know those things, have learned those things, or have the ability and the the social responsibility ability to look these things up. You have to have that. Because if you're not, you're doing yourself and everybody you're talking to a disservice. Like, seriously. Um, so I'm going to read something that I found online because I looked it up. And... It says the U.S. economy is a complex system that with various players influence, influencing its direction. Here are the primary entities that play a significant role in controlling it. Now, listen to what I tell you. The Federal Reserve. Congress. Market forces. International factors. The president was not mentioned in any of that. You realize that? So I need y'all to take that into consideration. Now, the president can decide who is in charge of the Federal Reserve. Congress can say yes or no to that person being in charge of the Federal Reserve. The president can say what he would like to do with the economy or whatever the case may be. It's up to Congress to say yes or no. And it's also up to Congress to say this amount or this amount, this amount can or cannot go to that. Okay? Then, when, when you're talking about market forces, we got to look at supply and demand. You have to look at supply and demand. If you don't want something and nobody's demanding it, then, you know, it is what it is. But there's something out there that you want and everybody want it. Demand is up there. Prices go up. It's just common knowledge out there, common knowledge. So um, then you also have to take into account what businesses are doing themselves. The president cannot dictate what any business out there does. That's not his job. You know, it, it's just not his job. So you need to keep that in, 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 into consideration. Then you have to focus on the international factors, which is another big part. Global trade and global economic conditions. 
Now, we all know that we are in a global economy more and more and more and more as we go along. So if something happens in China, who we have a lot of business going back and forth, if something happens over there, it affects us here. Same thing in Europe. Same thing all over the world. Um, their economic conditions, that also factors in. So I, I think a lot of y'all need to sit back and, and really think about what, what, you, what your argument is, really. Because a lot of y'all arguments out there is just nonsense. It's just nonsense. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we got to see what's going to happen. Um, it's, a, it's a lot that, that can be got, gotten into on this subject. Um, I can't think of everything by myself. Um, and I say that to say, look, if you got an opinion that you want to chop it up with, you know, on, on, on the politics or whatever else, you're welcome to come on the King and Our Life podcast. We welcome you with open arms. Please come. Please chop it up with us. Um, Because I think it'd be a fruitful conversation to have with, you know, whatever your opinion is. We can, we can definitely discuss it because that's what we do. But <clears throat> please don't be dissuaded from voting. And I say that because if you are bound to every other law in this country, if you are afforded every other right in this country and you exercise those rights on a daily basis, why not participate in who represents you? Why not? I mean, it is to your benefit that that you participate um and on top of it on 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 further on that i'll say what are the implications of not voting what are they um i looked this up just just because i wanted to have something solid to say i didn't want to go off the top of the head because i know but i want to give you some concrete things that you can look up Re reduce representation so when you don't vote, whatever you want, desire, what you represent is not going to be put out into this, into the universe or however you want to say it. It's just not. Because you can't sit on social media or in the backyard or at the barbershop and wherever else and say, oh, this, that, and the other. I wish this, I wish that. But you don't vote. What is the point of you running your mouth, yapping, complaining or whatever, and you don't vote? The other thing is uh, the impact on democracy. Um, when you don't vote, you weaken the democratic process. That's key. You weaken the process. Um, and, and you make it less reflective of the will of the people. And that, that pretty much ties in, goes in hand in hand with re reduced representation. So if, if everyone is not voting, let's just say, let's just throw a, a, a scenario out there. Let's just say 75% of the people in our country vote. 50% like things one way, 25% like things the other way. And do you have another 25 that just don't give a damn either way? Or they may care on either side of the coin. But if you have only 75% voting, 50% vote this way, 25% vote this way, this 25% is shortened. They're shorthand. They're disenfranchised because you chose to sit back in the stands. Help me understand that, man. Why are you, why are you okay with that? Why are you okay with that? Um... Policy outcomes, a big one, a big one. Um, and so what I looked up, you have, you have healthcare, you have education, and you have the economy on there. Big ones, very big ones. Everybody has a, a, a thing with healthcare. Everybody has a thing about education. 
we know out here they be burning books like like it ain't like it's no tomorrow, banning books from libraries, changing what's taught in school, basic things that need to be taught in school are not being taught in school. I I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. And then then when you look at other policies, you look at um law enforcement policy. Now we know how that that rolls in this country. So you telling me. You know, oh, it's messed up that the police did this, that, and the other, and they need to change, they need to change. But if your voice and your vote was needed to help that change, you just opted out and just said, let it be what it is. And you're okay with that. Well, help me understand why you're okay with that. Um, then the biggest thing, perception of legitimacy. Now, we know since that dude has been running... He's always said the elections are rigged, which is a bold-faced lie. Are there anomalies? Are there issues? Of course there are. There's always going to be. In my lifetime, I've never known a time where there wasn't issues. But again, if you're not out there voting, if you're not out there making yourself represented, represented and your voice heard, nothing changes. Now, it's very clear that this joke has said, oh, the elections are rigged and all his support is, oh, the election is rigged. It went so far to say if Kamala Harris would have won, the Democrats stole. Make it make sense to me. Please make it make sense to me. So that's to say that only if he won, it was good to go. The, 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 as they say, the math ain't mathing out there. But again, you know, a lot of y'all need to really look inside uh, at, at where your head is at when it comes to these things. You know, another thing that I was seeing out there was, oh, y'all let celebrities dictate who you vote for and blah, blah, blah. It's like, nah, nah. And And, and the crazy thing about it is, from my observation, from the people I know, I've seen, I follow, and you know, talk to, have talked to, this only happens in the black community from what I've seen. Or on a democratic side from what I've seen. I'll put it that way. Let me put it that way because that makes it more broad. Because LeBron James came out, because Beyonce came out, because um, Megan Thee Stallion came out, because Fat Joe came out, you know, and whoever else. No, it's not about that. It is far from that. Because if you're going to say that on the Democrat side, you got to say that on the Republican side. Up and down the line. Dana White, uh, Hulk Hogan, Elon Musk. Like, oh, they only voted for Trump because they came out. Well, shit, I, you, you could almost say that because Elon was passing out million-dollar checks. Why is that okay? Um... So you got to look at that as well. But again, I mean, if you give a damn, you'll vote. That's just my take on it. If you don't give a damn, you won't. But um, I'm not here to knock anybody for their decisions or on whether they voted or not um, or who they voted for. That's your thing. For me, I just look at who's running and who more aligns with my values and, and, and stuff like that. No, did, did Kamala Harris uh, say everything that I wanted to hear? No, she did not. But I would rather have seen her in office with her approach than him with his approach. He's been calling people vermin and, 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 and all kinds of crazy things every time that he's going up there to run. Nobody has done that to him. But as soon as they talk about him, everybody want to get their panties in a bunch and cry and whine. Oh, they said this about Trump. They were attacking Trump. They... Really? That's what that's what y'all doing? Y'all clowns for that. Y'all straight clowns for that. And I don't have a problem saying y'all clowns for that. Um, But, you know, I think the general consensus amongst the uh, black community and minority community and, and, and even take it further for the country as a whole. Um, Y'all just are not open-minded enough to have 
a woman as the president and a woman of color as the president. I think that is the bigger issue um, in our country. Um, and, and I can speak to the people who look like me. Yo, I, I think some people need to get off their ego because I, I think that she would have been a pretty decent president. And you know what? I'll even go on the limb to say, I think she would have been a phenomenal president um, given the opportunity because no president does anything by themselves. They have a whole team around them. If you know anything about presidents, they have a whole team. They're not just sitting there. They're, this is not a monarchy or a matriarchy or anything like that. We don't have that here. And even with those types of situations, they have people around, advisors around to say, hey, no, nah, that's not a good idea. Hey, maybe you look at it this way. You know, it, it's evident because presidents have speechwriters for a reason. You know, it's, it's a, 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 a certain approach that you have here. Um, I may be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me. But if I'm right, I'm right. Um, I don't mind being wrong. But at the end of the day, you you have to like I'm gonna put it this way. There is no damn way I could live in this country or any country, the dem democratic country, where I have the right to do whatever the hell I want within the law and not vote. Like you taking taxes out my check, I'm voting. Just as simple as that. Simple as that. That is that simple. Because I'm voting because when you take check, taxes out of my check, that affects me directly. And where you spend that money affects me directly. So for just for that reason alone, I don't understand why y'all don't vote. Um, one of the another thing, you know, before I jump up off here, another thing that I want to talk about is we finally well, I'm not going to say finally. In 2024, we have a president-elect that is a goddamn felon. Wrap your fucking head around that. We have a president-elect that is a fucking felon. Now, what I want to say on that is whether you supported him or not, whether you supported Kamala Harris or not, your next president is a felon. And if you are a felon, guess what? Your dumb ass can't vote. So while you were flipping the fuck around, praising this dude, I hope he changes the law to allow felons to vote. Because y'all talk, some of y'all out there talking about, you know, all the good he does and this, that, and the other. But if he can't do that one solid for none of y'all, what's the point? What are you talking about? And again, that goes down to Congress too, because they passed the laws. Hey, get out there and vote. We got two years, baby, two years. Um, we got a Republican president. He got the House and the Senate. It's about to be. It's about to be something to see. I'm not going to say it's going to hell. I'm not going to say it's all bad, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to be in his cabinet. It's going to be interesting to see what he does, um, you know, with, you know, everybody that he's in bed with, you know, how we say. But, you know, other than that, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what how, how this uh, transpires out here in this uh, universe. But hopefully, it'll be for the good. If not, we get out there and vote. Get your thing. I can go into, but I'll preserve that for another day when I got my man, son, so.